the panel, the discussion, an objective and impartial view of the issues of interest to you. Nation Beat is on now. For many decades, the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College has been one of the island's biggest repositories of unheralded talent, equipping thousands of young citizens with degrees and diplomas who are making their mark on island and abroad. Over the years, the college has adapted to include more digital solutions to their learning programs and today has further evolved with the assistance of the CDF to place a sharp focus on developing the innate talent and artistic creativity in its students. Every cooperation agreement... According to the chair of the board of SALCC, Mr. Cleta Springer, cooperation is the essence of life, and the signing of this memorandum of understanding is a positive step in providing students with a healthy balance. The core purpose of education ought to be, in fact, must be, to help our people to discover and to develop their innate talent. The Sir Arthur Lewis Community College needs and appreciates the help of others so that it can do more to assist others. I have no doubt whatsoever, no doubt whatsoever about the positive impact this will have on the lives of our students and on the development trajectory of our country. Chairing the City of Board, Mr. Dowing God expressed how he felt about the new partnership and the importance of art and creatives in education. I think that for the most part, artists have been left to chance, um, not with intent and purpose, but almost left to chance after probably secondary school to figure out exactly what it is they're going to do. When I heard about this partnership, I was elated. Um, for me, it is a profound collaboration. It is one that we need to appreciate because of where it is going to go. For the artists who are going to take part in this project, um, I feel very inspired because for the first time we are actually nurturing seeds from beginning to end. Representing the Ministry of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information was Anne Margaret Adams who commended the organizations for the initiative. It is inarguable that this sector is of tremendous importance to our tourism industry and the economy as a whole. The Ministry is aware of the arduous work of the two agencies, CDF and Sir Arthur Lewis, in developing such a program over the past year, and we are excited, I said pleased initially, but excited and inspired to be part in witnessing what is expected to be the commencement of much needed support in enhancing the competitiveness of the creative industry sector. Renowned sculptor and artist Jalim Yudovic brought the ceremony to a close with his own personal testimony and endorsement for art in education. What role does art play in our, in our development in terms of crafting our identity as a people and as a nation? What's the role of art in terms of the development of our spirituality, our spiritual selves? And I believe that's where we uh, make the error most times. We see art as a product, as a commodity. I believe that art is an essential part of the development of who we are. Officials from the CDF and SALCC have sworn to do all within their power to make this partnership a long-standing and fruitful one for college students, the creative industry sector, and the wider nation. Hello everyone and welcome to a special launch of the Business of the Arts project. My name is Natalie Jolifanis and today I am joined by representatives of three of our national developmental institutions. And I have to put it that way because they have some responsibility in nation building. So joining me today to my immediate left is Jacqueline Ale, and she is the project officer with the Social Development, St. Lucia Social Development Fund. Next to her, in between the two ladies, is Mr. Darwin Gard, and he is currently the chairman of the Cultural Development Foundation. And as you know, they have a great developmental role in the creative industries, and that is going to be our focus today. And our final panelist today is Ms. Kentilia Louis, representing the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, which, as you know, is the National Tertiary Institution of St. Lucia. And of course, I assume her responsibility is for the training aspect, but we will get to that. So. The creative industries, as we know, is such a vital component of our development, of our economy these days. 
generating so much fun. And as we go into the carnival season, we understand the relevance of that. And of course, it's important for everybody within that industry to be trained and to be a professional. And we always need funding to be able to do that. So we're going to start first with the representative from the, from the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, Ms. Ale, to tell us just about her entity's involvement in this project. Ms. Ale, over to you. Thank you, Ms. Vanis. Um, well, basically, we received um, a proposal from the CDF asking for funding for a program. Um, well, actually, two programs that we speak specifically on the business of the arts, um, where it's a skills building, skills training, capacity strengthening program um, that is being funded by the Basic Needs Trust Fund. And the Basic Needs Trust, the Basic Needs Trust Fund is the flagship program, developmental program of the Caribbean Development Bank. And we receive grant funding um, to fund projects that um, in vulnerable communities or um, to assist vulnerable persons within St. Lucia. Great, vulnerable persons within St. Lucia. Um, so let's switch off to Mr. Gard one time. Mr. Gard, how do the artists that fall under the purview of the CDF, how are they likely to benefit from that program that is going to be funded by the CDB? Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank um, the SSDF through BNTF for the funding and obviously the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College for making this happen. Um, for us, partnerships and collaborations are things that we always look forward to in you know, going um, forward with our mandate. Um, how are they going to benefit? Uh, for us, it's always about adding value to the artist. And um, I think for us, this particular project adds value in the sense that it allows for the artists now to have a business perspective. Um, we understand the expansion of the, of the creative industries in terms of you know, the professionalism and now you have branding and marketing and management and finances. And for us, that is truly important. Um, from a CDF's perspective, we know in the past we have funded tremendously in terms of giving the artists directly. Um, this time around, though, what we love about this project is that it is about the management to some extent of, of the artists. And I think that adds a wonderful contribution to the creative industries. Thank you so much, Mr. God. And we will get back to you for a little more development um, of those points. But I want you to just bring in Ms. Louis here. Um, I hear skills building. I hear the importance of branding and the focus on management. Uh, before you get into just explaining the program, in, for the initiation of this, just what was the, the college and CDF thinking in terms of developing that program and what they wanted to achieve? Well, South Lewis Community College, as you said, as our tertiary institution, we recognize that the creative industries is one of the fastest growing industries in St. Lucia. And uh, one of the pillars, of course, is making sure, well, I should say all three pillars of South Lewis actually f connect quite nicely with the development of the creative industries. When you think of the idea of being innovative, the need for sustainability, that's something we hear all the time, especially with um, parents, with young you know, um, creative industries practitioners saying, how is my child going to be able to sustain a living in, in terms of this? And of course, our third pillar, which is entrepreneurship. We are ensuring that, okay, this area which is growing, which, um, as we said, is the way I think to go for us as a small developing um, state. We need to ensure that we give all the skills necessary to our practitioners so that they can not only make their mark here, but globally. Great. Mr. God, I, I wanted to, to reach back to you. Um, I think we, we are sure, we know for sure that, that CDF provides a platform for our, our creatives um, where they organize activities or events that allow them to be showcased. And now with this project, you've, you've written a proposal to seek funding. Um, and I, I know you've spoken to the fact that you want management and branding, but based on what you see of our artists in St. Lucia, can you speak more to how you're going to meet that need for training um, in terms of how the program was developed? Um, well, first of all, um, partnering with the Arthur's Community College was, was important um, because for us, again, we have done a number of programs, but we sought certification as being very important in the process. Um, 
too many times we've we've had programs where you you have um, you just have the programs, but at the end of the day, the artist does not have certification. So that's one thing for us that's important. And that being said, I think it's important to to partner with a reputable um, educational um, institution that adds value to that to that um, to, to the certification. Um, in terms of how we, we, we're going to ensure. Here's, here's what we've recognized. Um, we've recognized the need within the industry, like I said, to have management. Um, if you look at the successes of a lot of the artists, um, if you look at the successes of a lot of the artists, you'd realize that um, those who do extremely well have management. And for us, that's important. Have management. So, so maybe, um Ms. Louis will have to develop that a little bit in terms of, because you think of artists having an external entity manage them. I think that's some of what we have been seeing. Um, we see artists who will tell you, I only want to focus on my craft um, and I don't want to get into the other things. How do you create that balance where they are not too bogged down with all of the other management? How do they balance um, developing their craft and, and having that skill? So. I understand quite clearly what you mean by that. You know, artists go back and forth about, I just want to be an artist. And of course, there's always the importance of management. However, it's also very important for the artist to understand that they're a professional. They're a business or a business person. And what does that mean in relation to the creative industries is different from other industries because you end up being a product to a certain extent. So how do you now as an artist, as much as you want to focus on being an artist, how do you make sure, for example, at the end of the month, you can still pay your bills? How do you make sure you get the best price for your services and, and products? That is part of the, um, the, the skills. These are some of the discussions, the different things we were trying to ensure that we can give an avenue or um, a forum for the artist to understand. So through this program, you can either one, come out of it and manage artists, or you can be an artist who understands yourself better as a professional, because we like to use that word a lot, especially in St. Lucia, I am a professional. But what does that really mean? A professional has to balance all sides of their career. And so with this, we have a number of areas, as we said, not just looking at, for example, how do you go about organizing your finances to make sure you and you know inland revenue are in good spare, you know, good standings, for example. But what does it mean when we say creative industries in St. Lucia and in the region? We are going to examine what the trends are. I find, for example, a lot of artists don't focus on one area. How do you know which of your skills? you can monetize and which are, should be just for development of yourself. So this course, this program is going to help them to find the right path, the right turns to take in becoming a better vision of themselves. Ah, uh, and Mr. God seems like let he wants me, to jump yeah, in let here. Me just, let me just, add, just before break. <laughs> let, me, let me just add something quickly. Um, I'm hoping, because of the uniqueness of this program, um, I know there's a stress on the artist being able to. What I expect may happen with this program is that some of the artists who go in may come out being managers of artists because of the perspective. Um, so I'm hoping that it's a, it's a, it's a situation where the, it's the, the perspective on the management and the arts and the creative industries is broadened to allow people to see other opportunities. So some may go in as artists who just want to deal with themselves, but may find that, oh, there's actually an opportunity to manage an artist what I'm doing. And so probably now the, the management side of things will probably come out, which is extremely necessary as it pertains to the creative industries. Excellent. We need to go to break. I hope we have artists tuned in. And if they are not, I appeal to you to call them and ask them to join. We are talking about a business of the arts program that is a collaboration between the South Atlantic Community College, the Cultural Development Foundation and funded by CDB through the Social Development Fund. So stay tuned. We will be right back to talk more about the qualification that will be received and why this program is one that you should be a part of. Stay with us. You see the violence thing, let's stop it. You see the nerves and the gun, them drop it. Stop the violence.
Be your brother's keeper. Make the change. End the gun violence now. A message from the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment. Welcome back to the launch of the Business of the Arts program. It's a project done in collaboration with the South Louis Community College, the Cultural Development Foundation, and the St. Lucia Social Development Fund with funding from the Business Trust Fund. Fund. I know I missed out a letter in that, but that's cool. If you were with us before, we're going to continue our conversation. If you're just joining us, this is an exciting venture for our creatives. Again, we speak to how the creative industries is expanding. It isn't a forerunner for our economic development. And it's important that we have all our artists qualified. So we have with us a representative from the South Louis Community College in the person of Ms. Kentilia Louis. Well, I didn't say before, but she's no, um, she, she is a creative herself. So she understands the dynamics and she was instrumental in having this program designed. Also with us is another creative himself, brand designer, Mr. Darwin God, who currently serves as the chairman of the Cultural Development Foundation Foundation and the funding agency representing the funding agency we have with us, Ms. Jacqueline Alle. So in our first segment, we were really speaking about the necessity of such a program. And I want to go back to that a little bit with Ms. Alle, just to say, she, she said to us that a proposal was written, but I'm sure there are measures, there are benchmarks that you use in terms of approving such things. Why did this project in particular qualify for funding? Okay, the the... Mandate of the BNTF, um, as I said, is to reduce vulnerabilities. And under the, there are several sectors um, that the uh, Basic Needs Trust Fund, CD, CDB grant funding, several sectors that we fund. And, and this particular project came under the human resource, education and human resource development sector, which also includes livelihood enhancement. And this is where this fits in, because the focus is on CDB, the BNTF and um, the SSDF, we all have the same mandate, which is um, to reduce um, unemployment. We, we, CDB has an emphasis also on um, employment generation and entrepreneurship. So the proposal, when we got this proposal, obviously um, it had to be, there are processes that we have to go through, like needs assessments, et cetera. However, it met a lot of the criteria. Um, and we also align a lot of our programs, our projects that, that are funded under the BNTF, um, they're aligned with the SDGs also, um, the Sustainable Development Goals. So we believe, and specifically the um, employment generation part of it. I also want to mention, just to piggyback on something Mr. God said about certification, um, it is BNTF CDB is very important. They're very, it is very important that um, when they fund skills training programs, that the beneficiaries get certification that they could use outside of the country. It's not specific to Saint Lucia, and they could go anywhere and gain employment with that. Excellent, so. excellent, mm -hmm. Mr. God. I, I'm hearing Miss Alessi creating employment, but I'm also hearing within what she's saying the struggling artist, yes? Um, and CDF coming to deal with that issue. I think it's real. I think we, we know a lot of artists will tell you that they probably, if there's not even paycheck to paycheck. Um, and sometimes people even take advantage of, of their talent in terms of just having them come to do something. They don't know necessarily how to cost, et cetera. So, to, so speak to CDF's representation of the struggling artist. I think on a, on a broader scale, I don't think the, the creative industry is still a developing industry. Um, the injection in terms of economics in the creative industry, um, I think we can do a lot better. I know government is actually helping in that regard, but I think we can do a lot better in terms of creating an environment where the artists are able to do well and have access to a lot more opportunities. But like any other budding industry, any other budding sector, it will have its difficulties, which is why when an SSDF comes to, to, to say, hey, listen, we can help you move this forward, and this is our Lewis Community College says, hey, we'll put this program together for you. The CDF is, is, is always happy to have these collaborations because we think it's, imp it's important. So I think the sector on the whole creates some kind of vulnerability, um, but we're moving forward. And like I said, when we have these kind of collaborations, it works. Um, certification first is very important. 
Um, because for our understanding is to do programs where you're not certified means that um, you probably secure in a particular space. So if a, let, let me give an example. If a business says, I'm going to do a program, um, most times these people remain in the program. So there's no need for certification because it's training within a particular area. But in terms of if you're getting, you're doing a program where you have to go outside, certification is necessary. I mean, you know, you, you, you want to present your, 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 your collaterals to whatever entity you're going to so that they can see the, 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 the value that you come with. The prerequisites, for example, for us is important. Um, so when you put all of that together, you're creating a, a valuable artist, a valuable artist and a valuable contributor within a business and professional sector. And for us, that is the, you know, a part of what we're doing. Uh, we understand the modernization of the industry. We understand where it's going. And so we want to create people within the sector who can thrive, not just survive, but thrive. And we think that, these, that, that, that is necessary. Okay. Let's talk about value a little more. In terms of the level of qualification that the artist will receive, Ms. Louis, can you speak to that? Yes, so it's a professional certificate. So at the end of, uh, it's a three semester program. You start off in August, well, September, and um, you are done by August in the following year. So it's a year long program and you receive that certification. And um, again, Sir Arthur Lewis wanted to ensure that it is uh, open to all who need it. And so the requirement is three years experience in the sector. That's it. Three years experience. So you have to, again, it's not for someone just decided, is this what I want to do? It has to be for someone who has been in it and has had um, different experiences because you're going to f realize when you come into the program that for the different courses, a lot of the material is actually your experience. So that makes it more relevant. Yep. So when you leave there, you are talking and you are relating everything that you do to your personal business, your personal approach. And um, we wanted to remove that, you know, I come, I learn something, and now let me go and try and apply it to what it is I am doing. You are the subject matter. And three years experience gives you enough fodder for you to be able to analyze yourself, to be able to, you know, apply the various approaches that we'll be exposing the, the participants to. So it's, it's a lot of application. A lot of application. Um, let's speak still on, on the qualification and, and where artists can take that, because I think that's always an issue. It is a Sir Arthur Lewis certificate. Yes. It's, it's coming from a community college, yes. a reputable educational institution. Um, how do you see, and I, I think I would like both of you to answer that, how do you see that transferring possibly to other islands or other regions? Is that a certificate that can carry that kind of weight? That maybe even if they want to continue to pursue another level of education, is that something where they can possibly get transfer credit? Yes, definitely. So the, the program will be a prerequisite for certain courses at Safa Lewis Community College, our Creative Industries and Events Management, AD program, our Creative, Industry, Creative and Performing Arts programs, and other programs. It will be. Um, and because we have uh, such a network with various colleges, and not only in the region, but internationally, our certification is accepted. So it would allow um, or it should be an avenue for artists if they want to continue not only here, but go further afield. Um, that can be used to help them in terms of uh, sorry, admission into other programs. So, yeah, yes. That, that sounds wonderful. Um, so it looks like we have to just take another break. I, I really wanted to talk to cost and, and whether CDF would be charging anything for this. But we take another break, and when we come back, we will be getting into the process. How do you become part of this program? Stay tuned for that. I'm Chauvin Matthew. I am the inspector in charge of the Criminal Investigations Department in Castries. The RSLPF has received several reports of a new scam targeting people who are looking to purchase vehicles via Facebook. The scam involves the following steps. 
the scammer posts an advertisement for a vehicle via Facebook using stolen photos and fake details. Then you'll be given a phone number and asked to contact this person to arrange some sort of meeting. The scammer also asks you to ensure that you carry along with you cash as that vehicle has multiple buyers and will be sold if you do not purchase. You are then asked to meet up at a private location where you'll meet up with an individual who will ask you for the money and hand you a vehicle key and will instruct you to go to a different location to collect the said vehicle. Perpetrators of this scam will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I am encouraging persons to report any suspicious advertisements or transactions to the crime hotline 555. Remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Stay safe and be vigilant online. Thank you so much for staying with us. We are getting to the most important part of the Business of the Arts program. How can you, as an artist, access it? So if you know an artist who's not watching, please tell them we are continuing with this conversation about the Business of the Arts program that has been developed by the Cultural Development Foundation, the CDF, in collaboration with the South Louis Community College as the training institute and with funding from the Basic Needs Trust Fund. I think I got that right this time. So, Mr. Gard, you have offered this program for the development of artists. It is a one year, uh, you say three semesters. It's, not an acad it's more than an academic year, and that's why she said three semesters, but it's like a full calendar year for the most part. Um, does this come? Um, I think it comes out of course the SSDF. <laughs> no, you're joking. Um, in terms of SSDF, again, has just done a wonderful job in getting funding for us. And um, uh, they've done such a tremendous job that the understanding, again, when I spoke about the vulnerability of artists, um, uh, is free. Uh, because we, we understand. F-R-E-E. -E. Yes. If, 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 let me go back to F-R-E. -E. That's right. Free. It is. <laughs> um, but, but it is. Because, again, we understand the help that the industry needs and the sector needs. But in investing that money in these artists and these professionals, what you're going to get out of that is far more than for me what it is we're going to inject. And therefore, we see the returns on, um, on, um, on, on what we get from the artists. And it was an easy, it was an, it was an easy, um, um, it was easy for us to, to say it was free. And like I said, SSDF did a wonderful job in, in supporting. Um, programs like this cannot happen um, with just one entity getting it done. It has to be collaboration. Um, and again, you know, I just want to thank the SSDF and the South Africa Community College because what you've seen here is the CDF being the administrator and saying, hey, we want this program because we understand the need for it. But then we need to get partners to help us move it forward. And we needed the financing and also we needed the programming. And um, I just think the, the, the three entities coming together just did a remarkable job in making this project happen. So again, back to the question, when you ask what is the cost, um, because of the wonderful work that the SSDF had, has done in find, and seeking financing for this project, um, it's absolutely free. But then again, I think they have allowed this because they themselves have seen the returns on the investment. And um, so I think it was an easy choice to make. Um, this Alphabet Community College obviously would have put the project together um, in terms of helping the, the, uh, the CDF in terms of understanding registration, online, start date, what is necessary, what period is necessary for the amount of, of students we have coming in. So like I said, it is, it is an idea, it's a vision we had, but visionaries need persons to make these things happen. And we've brought the right persons on board. Um, I would allow Kentilia, I think, because she has some more information as it pertains to probably registration yes. and so forth, but the so details. So that's next. And so, yes. 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 So, so Ms. Louis, tell us, tell the artist about the registration process um, for this program. Well, you have until the 3rd of August to register for this program. It's an online, well, the, the, the form is online. You can go to the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College website or the CDF website and just um, sign up. Now, I know it's free, but of course, you know, we have limits where numbers are concerned. So I urge persons, don't wait, do it as quickly as possible to make sure you can get into um, the cohort. 
Um, we are catering for persons north and south. It doesn't matter where in the island you are from. We are going to ensure that we do our best to make sure that you have access to this, this program. If you have any um, questions or um, queries, please feel free to get in touch with Sir Arthur Lewis Community College or at CDF if you need assistance or clarification with any aspect of the form. But it's a very simple form. Um, just fill it out, give us your information, as we said, um, your experience, and um, you'll start a wonderful journey with us. I'm sure the artists would be interested in knowing whether, how the program will be um, offered. Is it in person? Is it online? Do you have a blended modality? It's a blended modality. <laughs> so one of the things that we did with this program was to make sure that we have, as we said, balance. We know artists are very busy. And so the idea of trying to find three, four days a week to be able to meet for classes may be difficult. So there's some aspects of, the, for, of all the classes that will be online, where you can go on and do some of the um, assignments and work on your own. But at least once a week, the, the participants will come together to discuss, to work in their groups, to be able to get feedback from the different lecturers. And let me say, when I say lecturers, I use that not in the traditional, you know, way. facilitators. We deliberately went out and got practitioners, experts in their field to be part of this. So you're not only getting... Um, the knowledge from them, but they're also giving you real world experience. They're telling you about what it is that they've done and the experiences that they've had. And so you are sure by the end of the time you learn about, as we said, all areas. And the last course, you end up with a business plan you can go forward with. So you'll know how to market, how to use social media, how to organize your financing, your management, and how to be able to analyze the trends to know where you should go in terms of your product development. That sounds like a complete package to Very me. Very much so. <laughs> um, for an artist who definitely has their, their head on and they, they want to continue in that field. Um, so just let me get it clear again. So you, you, you give the, the end date for registration. When does registration open? Registration opens the 13th of July. So it's just around the corner, the 13th of July, registration will be open. As we said, you'll find the link um, on the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College webpage as well as the CDF webpage. And it's only an online application? Online application. So it's easy for everyone. You don't have to worry about paper. You can sit down on your phone and just do that quickly and that's it. Great. So Mr. Garden, given all of that, what are your expectations about the response from the artists once we have launched this program? No, I think, I think the artists will be excited. Um, I think that is something that uh, the, ex the, the, the entire sector is looking forward to. So um, my expectation is that uh, the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College will be calling to say um, CDF, we just have so many people applying that that is something we have to look into expansion. And I'm not hoping I, it, will, it will be. Um, this program for me is one that has to continue. I think it's going to play a significant role um, as we move forward. Um, because for us, again, it's about you know, getting artists the development and the nurturing of artists. And um, we are proud uh, to have collaborated with the SSDF and uh, the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College in making this project move forward. It's a beginning um, and there will be room for expansion, like I said. And like I said, working with Sir Arthur Lewis, I, I know somewhere down the road they will come up with more ideas. You know, CDF, we think you should this high, think it can be more impactful. Um, SSDF, um, I, again, understanding the returns on investment. I think once this program shows um, its legitimacy within the sector, um, I can see doing extremely well. So I'm asking the artists to participate and I'm asking them to, you know, really take the opportunity to develop themselves in that regard. And as we close, I, I really want to give the, the representative of the funding agency, just, just for her to, to speak as we close, to encourage artists and to speak to that contribution that is being made towards their development. Considering all what Mr. God has said, <laughs> um, I think he basically touched on every area. However, um, 
the BNTF, as I said, um, shares the same mandate as the SSDF, and it's about um, reducing on inequalities. Um, our programs are gender sensitive, um, but most importantly, sustainability. Um, we're, we're, and BNTF is very big on sustainability. We expect all, our programs should be sustainable. It's not a situation where, and that's the other reason for the certification, as Mr. God said, where you just come. You, you're not just going to be doing a course and then, you know, you walk out. There is an investment. Um, there is no cost to the artists. Um, the Caribbean Development Bank, through the Basic Needs Trust Fund, is um, funding 95% of the project. And the government of St. Lucia is funding 5%. So, and again, as you can see here, we're one, we're not working in isolation of anyone. We're partnering with CDF. Um, we're the implementing agencies, but they're more or less facilitating the project with, with SAFA. And um, it is, we're anything that is going to reduce on poverty, reduce on inequality, and um, our young persons can generate funds but, um, or, or, or sustain, maybe have more sustainable livelihoods. We're, um, we're always willing to fund and assist with that. Thank you so much for that. So we are speaking to success, to again, the pillars of sustainability. And we know, of course, that artists are innovators. So final words, I suspect I'm, I should let Mr. God go last. So I will, <laughs> I will invite Ms. Louis to give her final words as we close off. I just would like to take this opportunity to thank not just the CDF, but all the, the creative industry um, experts that um, we engaged during this process. We didn't just sit down and come up, oh, this happened. Um, I can say I use my experience as a creative. We met with a lot of creatives in the field and asked for their opinions. And there was a, this took a year of back and forth and interaction because we wanted to make sure. So Alpha always wants to make sure that whatever product they put out there really meets the needs of its clients. And so thank you so much, CDF, um, for engaging in that process with us. And, um, we look forward to making our contribution to the development of the creative industries. Thank you. Final words, Mr. Gard? Um, for me, again, it's just, uh, this for me is ideally what CDF is about, um, collaboration. Um, we don't know it all. We know what our mandate is, but we, sometimes we need help in pushing that mandate forward. And so the partnership that we see here today is what I look forward to um, moving forward. Um, in making sure that we develop and, you know, we, we stick to our mandate. Um, I want to thank the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. They've done a tremendous job and it's been a long time. A lot of emails and conversations, um, programming, professionals, um, deciding how things are moving. Um, but we knew that we had depended on the right institution for that because of the reputation in the, the, the ability to, to, in education. I mean, you look around St. Lucia and the A-level students have done tremendous. So for us, that was an easy, that was an easy go. Um, from SSDF, um, we are happy. Uh, it's about uh, equality for them and making sure that there's equal opportunity. And I think that is what we're trying to strive for as it pertains to the artists within sectors that they get equal opportunity. So for us, uh, it was a wonderful experience again. And I hope that we continue to partner in such a way uh, because we believe collaboration just gives you so much more. So um, I just want to say thank you. I hope the artists um, understand the opportunities that they're going to they're gonna get from this. And I hope they can take that opportunity and help other artists within the industry. Because the one thing is it's not about self. Yes, you've developed yourself. But at the end of the day, it is to go out there now and to continue because that's how we're going to make this industry grow. We have to understand that at this point in time, in a budding industry, we have to give. So we've learned, so I may pass it on to my other pairs who may not have been able to get the opportunity because of limited space. So I'm hoping that they take that into regard. But again, it's a, it's a wonderful project. I'm proud to be a part of it. I want to thank CDF staff. They, they worked extremely hard on this as well. And um, I, I hope to, 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 to see the, the fruits of, of this project. 
Great, great way to end. Thank you so much, Ms. Sui, Mr. Gard, Ms. Aleph, for joining us today. The call is out to all artists to sign up for the Business of the Arts program. Due to start in August, go to the website of the South Lewis Community College, www.salcc.edu.lc, to register now. Get your certification. Thank you so much for joining us for the launch of the Business of the Arts program. The panel, the discussion, an objective and impartial view of the issues of interest to you. Nation Beat is on now.